Hey guys, Anthony here, Bibles and Barbells. Today's video review is going to be on the Thrunite TH20 headlamp. And here it is right here uh, in front of us. Uh, what I'm going to do first today before we get into the specs of this light is give you a quick overview, pictorial of it, and give you uh, a little bit of what it looks like been using this light for several weeks now. My friends at Through Night sent it out to me to test. Just an amazing light like all of their flashlights and different LED lights that they make. This one is excellent. Very well constructed and it has a lot of the same features as some of their other uh, flashlights. This one has the um, headband here that's adjustable that goes through a rubberized holder that you see right here just passes through it like that and it holds the light for you the through night TH20 there's a look at the lens and there's a look at the button to activate the light very well placed this is the compartment for the battery that we're going to talk about in a moment and then with the light you get a extra rubber holder right here and you get two spare o-rings so let's take this light and weigh it first without the battery. We'll bring our scale over. We'll activate it. So you guys can see. Should zero out in a moment. There it is. Now the headlamp without the battery. Two and five eighths ounces. Two and five eighths ounces. Before we go much further, this light is, is unique in that it can handle uh, two types of AA batteries. The one battery is the regular Duracell battery that you see here. The light operates fine with the regular, you know, regular AA uh, alkaline battery that you see here. But for a little bit of money, I went online and bought these Nightcore double a rechargeable batteries for high drain devices and these are 750 milliamp hour batteries the model number is 14500 i think you could see that right there and then it's also on the the paperwork there 3.7 volt and these batteries work fantastic in this light and they're rechargeable up to 500 times and they'll give you a boost in power so I already have several recharges that will work with these. I topped these off today. And so we're going to look at the light with those batteries in it as well. The Nightcore uh, 750 milliamp hour battery. There it is here. Again, it's equal to, it'll do 500 charge and discharge cycles. It's a, it's a 14500 AA battery. Which you see right there. Nightcore NL147. I believe two of these came to around 18 bucks, which is well worth it uh, when you think about it. Having a reliable, powerful battery on hand for these lights. And then it also came with a little case that'll hold the extra battery. Just like that. And there it is. So let's take our headlamp unscrew the cap to insert the battery and there you'll see the cap itself there you could see the o-ring right here you can see that the tolerances on the grooves here are really well made there's a look inside the battery chamber and again you'll insert the battery 
positive side down like that and then you screw this back on like so and there you have it okay batteries in and we have light let's go over some of the specs on this but before we do that let's weigh it with the battery in just so you guys will know uh, what this light weighs if you're gonna put it in a kit if you're curious about the weight with the Nightcore battery three and three eighths ounces the Nightcore uh, 14500 double-a battery Three ounces, 0.38, three and three eighths ounces. Okay, as with all through night flashlights, you get this technical specification sheet in several languages. I just take it usually, get the, the English section. I highlight the uh, sections of it. They're all set up pretty similar. And this one uh, we'll go through real quickly. But I like to go through this visually on my review of the all of their flashlights and headlamps. The TH20 flashlight adopts the latest Cree XP-L V6 LED to make output up to 500 lumens. And it's the 500 lumens output with the higher drain device, the 750 milliamp battery. You get only up to 250 lumens with a regular alkaline AA. So if you want more power in turbo mode, up to 520 lumens, go with a 14500 AA battery. The LED is an XP-LV6. Uh, the lens is anti-reflective coated ultra clear toughened glass lens. The reflector is orange peel. The working voltage is 0.9 to 4.2 volts. Material of the light is aluminum T6061 T6. It's premium type 3 hard anodized finish. And again, we weighed that light, so you saw the weights. Again, the um, output, as you can see here, in turbo is 520 lumens with a stronger battery. Other than that, you're going to get 250 lumens. And then Infinity, um, 230 lumens. Infinity Low, 1.6 lumens. And Firefly, 0.3 lumens. And again, there's the run times for those. Uh, it'll run 37 minutes in the turbo mode with the big battery in it or the higher drain battery. 93 minutes in turbo mode with the regular, 95 minutes in the 200 in the infinity mode 21 hours in infinity low and 14 days in firefly 67 meters max in distance intensity 1120 uh, cd i believe that's candela uh, impact resistance up to one meter as with uh, their flashlights you could drop them on the concrete to one meter and they're waterproof IPX-8 to 2 meters, and, uh, similar to a lot of the other lights that I did uh, before. Again, to activate this light, let's go over that. We'll come back and get the light and go over the uh, activation of this. Okay. To turn the light on and off, it's simple. A single click turns it on and off. Single click on, single click off. To change modes, when the light is off, I long press the switch to get Firefly. So if I want the Firefly mode, excuse me, I'll long press the switch. And there it is. The Firefly mode is activated. You can see that there. And you can see it shining on the paper. So a long press for Firefly. Then a long press the switch to cycle, circle through infinity high and infinity low. Infinity high and infinity low. Okay. 
There you go. Double click from any mode to get turbo. We'll double click it. Now to remember we have the um, better battery in here. We double click it. Excuse me. There's 520 lumens. Double click again. It's hard to do this while filming. Let's see this. Shut it off. Double click. Turbo. Double click and you got SOS. And there's your SOS mode. Memory function. The light will turn on in the last mode a set accessed, except for fly or fly, turbo, or SOS. So as I turn this on, it'll go into the last power setting, last mode that I accessed. Okay? Pretty simple. Um, again, you got the uh, two-year free replacement warranty with this light, the 30-day Amazon refund, uh, limited lifetime maintenance, and um, again, like all the other through night products that uh, I have reviewed on my channel, I've been happy with all of them. In fact, I carry the through night products um, in a lot of my gear, a lot of EDC. And this one's going to be no different. The first test of this one is actually, this is going to go with my wife. Uh, she's going on a yoga escape up to Massachusetts uh, later on this month in, uh, in October. And um, one of the things they'll be doing is hiking uh, outside at night, I think. And the equipment list told them to bring a headlamp or a flashlight. So she's going to bring this. Uh, TH20 headlamp with her on her yoga escape and uh, she's going to report back how it was, how it operated. So uh, I'm getting it ready for her. I bought a couple of the batteries. Again, she's not going to need um, probably more than a spare. This one and a spare, if that, for the couple days that she's going to be there. This should work fine with no problems. And it's good to carry when you travel anyway for emergencies. But uh, let's uh, tr uh, take this light and do some testing with it. Testing the modes.